Hi there! Welcome back again to my channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about a topic that you guys are probably waiting for every month. It's the Poshmark Vinted and Mercari sell stats. So get excited for it and let's get started. Okay, as usual, I'm going to divide this statistics videos in a few sections of different kind of knowledge or information for you. The first and foremost, I would like to share with you how many items I sold in each of this platform. Actually guys, I'm really really sad because it looks like my closet stats just kind of keep going down every month. I thought that because I'm back from vacation, I'll be better this month, but apparently my Poshmark closet is just kind of going worse actually. It's okay. Hopefully things are going back up again and maybe I need to kind of reevaluate my strategy or maybe kind of refresh my style and stuff. And hopefully the summer season is not going to be as rough. So, for the number of items sold, I've sold 142 items this month in Poshmark and that's like way low compared to the past two months. I know last month I sold like 176 items and I thought that was already low but now I'm going even lower. But the good news is, looks like my other closet, Mercari, is picking up actually almost like double. Uh, in Mercari, I sold 27 items this month and last month it was 16. And on Vinted, I sold 9 items which is actually less but it's okay. I feel like this past month, even though it's less, I feel like a lot of the items are more profitable. So even though I sell less, I get more out of it. So in terms of the time to sell, I feel like we have a few varieties over here. So the first item that I sold really quick is this ASOS maternity dress in navy stripe. And I've learned this pretty recently but it seems like maternity items which is very specific market sells pretty well in Poshmark apparently. Every time I post like one my maternity items, I get a lot of likes and it looks like it sells pretty quickly. So if you found maternity items, especially from ASOS apparently, <laughs> that is pretty casual but you think it's still in great condition, I would pick those up because it looks like they get sold pretty quick. The second item that sold is this Cabbie Joy sweater. So I've had two of this before but I don't know. Apparently one of them sold the day that I actually listed or zero days which surprised me because the item, the other items which is in larger sizes actually sells, it hasn't even sold and it's been like maybe two months or so. So I guess timing really matters. For some reason these people just kind of like it and my stuff is there. So if you have your stuff laying around, make sure you post it because you never know know if you know the buyer is ready to buy at that moment but if you haven't really listed it then it's not there so yeah I guess timing works nothing really special about this item it's cute but like yeah also the other thing I feel like a lot of people in YouTube say that they sell a lot of like larger item quicker and I don't know every time I pick up like larger or extra large item I just it just seemed like they're just sitting around it's not really getting a lot of traction so maybe it depends on different closet but yeah or maybe you know my style doesn't really fit a lot of like plus sizes girl maybe I don't know but yeah apparently in my closet size smaller sizes does better the third item that sells within the zero days is this really cute stripe J Crew shorts and again this is like nothing super crazy and special I guess the timing just works and apparently there is someone interested in the stuff like that at the moment that I posted it so it sold pretty quick. Now on the opposite side of the world, I have this item that almost uh, didn't sell until almost a year. This is the Chloe K Stripe T and it's like 30, 30, 300, 322 days takes 322 days to actually sold this item. I know the moment I looked at it, it's not like the greatest item. Thought that Chloe K in the past was like a really big brand because it's like Chloe Kardashian maybe. But um, no, uh, I mean the style is like okay because it's just like striped shirt. So maybe that's why I've picked up Chloe K before in a cuter style in peplum top I think and it sold pretty quick. So I guess depending on the style, this brand can be a flop or maybe a good thing. Now onto the next category is the most popular category and I hate to repeat myself every single month but this is still the same like yeah from last month the tops is still my top 
most favorite um, or most popular items in 45% so almost half of the people who buy stuff or the stuff that I sold to my closet are tops this can be tunics, tank tops, t-shirts, blah 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 the next one is still sweater but hold on even though it's still the second rank it's kind of going down from last month so last month from my what I captured here 22% of the stuff I sold was sweater but this month it went down to about 15% so I'm also getting ready for sweaters to go even lower this next month of May from 15% maybe to like 10% or so the next category that is also the same like last week most popular category is tops with 15% now with dresses this actually has gone up last month there's only 12% of the stuff that I sold in my closet that is actually dresses but this month it went up about 3% and I'm expecting this to go up even more um, but again it depends on the stuff that I found in thrift store right okay the next category that I've never really talked before in the other videos is the highest order price or I guess what people want to pay the most in terms of category and it looks like most people want to pay for this top three things for highest price first is pants and I know I've been selling selling a lot of jeans and I've got these jeans for a pretty decent price and I sold it pretty high price and I, I mean I can understand it for me I feel like jeans is basic and I want to invest in those kind of items so people are more willing to pay up for those those things because they can get a lot out of it the next category with the highest order price is shoes and again I can understand this shoes expensive everywhere and if you can get cute shoe style then definitely pick those up I've kind of stopped looking at heels I do look at them but I don't get them unless they're super cute otherwise I always pick up like flats or sneakers because because I feel like those are the good subcategories of shoes to invest in and resell the next category with highest order price is dresses and this is amazing because it's it intersect with the top most popular um, items or category in my closet so I guess if I can get a lot more dresses and I can get a lot more profit out of this then it would be the perfect combination now moving on to the next part, it's the most popular brand. You all know the most favorite popular brand in my closet is still Anthropology with 28%. Yeah, 20, 25%, sorry. And then the next one, it, it, it's changed a little bit because last month it was Zara and then Banana Republic. But this month, free people went back up. And it's with um, seven percent, and the second rank was actually J Crew with ten percent. Yeah, I don't know what to say about this. I always find little cute stuff on J Crew and Free People, and pick those up. And Anthropology, every time I thrift, I found them. So those are the good three brands in my closet. Now on the other side of the world, again with brands, the highest earning brands that I have are those, the top three. Highest earning brands in my closet are Adidas and I remember I found sneakers last month that is actually pretty popular. If you find Adidas sneakers and it's still in great condition, I would pick those up. It's pretty hot. It's pretty easy also to sell and if it's a little dirty, maybe use acetone or something to clean it up. But yeah, it's something that's pretty easy to sell and people are willing to pay up for it. The next brand is Ella Moss and I don't know if this is actually an anthropology brand but yeah, I Whenever I found a cuter version of Elmas, then I would pick those up. But I mean, I don't know much about this brand, so I'm not gonna make up some story so that I can talk about it. But yeah, Elmas, I make pretty good money off of it. The next brand that's pretty good as well, I think I mentioned it on my last video, is All Saints, and All Saints is kind of like a designer brand, I think, from New York. Um, it's pretty good. I get them not in the cheapest price, but I can sell all sense in pretty expensive price because I think it retail for maybe like 200 to 300 dollars in the store so people are more willing to pay up for it again repeating from last month I have 88% of my order this past month of April being an offer order so if you have not played around with Poshmark offer features like offer to likers or sending bundle offers then I would play around and look for opportunity to send people some offers little bit more information about my buyer just like last 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 video most of my buyers this month come from california 
still my top and it's also from Colorado and Texas doesn't change a lot sometimes it's up and downs but it's pretty standard whatever my buyers actually come from I, now I'm done talking about my Poshmark I'm gonna move on to Mercari and Vinted very little details about these two applications but in Mercari my top selling brands still anthropology Woohoo! anthropology everywhere um, now on Mercari though the top paying brand this month or top or highest profit brand this month is Pope St. Barth I don't know I'm gonna put the words here I've actually found this brand twice and two out of two I've sold them in pretty good price it's not something easy I'm not sure where it's sold I'm not sure if it's like a revolve or a formation um, I also found them on Amazon but still the re retail price for this is pretty high and people are actually willing to pay up for it honestly the style that I got was like it was kind of boho gypsy but it's nothing super like special I didn't really have a feeling to keep them but I guess people are willing to pay a lot for it they like it they want it they got it they buy it the last application that I'm gonna talk about today is Vinted Vinted has been slow in the past couple months but to be honest this month of beginning of May it's been kind of like very active sometimes I don't get any traction on Poshmark and just my vintage closet just kind of keep popping out vintage is a new black so in vintage the most popular uh, brand is anthropology and make it easy the highest earning brand is also anthropology although this past month I actually found one will wild fox item and i was able to sold it in um vinted within like a day or so so yeah guys it seems like mercari and vinted is like a way smaller application than poshmark but in times like this i really appreciate having those little things because when my poshmark closet is very slow i feel depressed i feel like oh no one like my item no one buy my item no one want my item so when that happens Fortunately, I have this application like Mercari and Vinted that kind of help me, you know, keep it in track of selling and stuff like that. So they've definitely helped my bottom line this month of April and definitely the beginning of May. So if you have not tapped onto those applications already, take a look and see if those are a great fit for you. Alright guys, hopefully this video is enjoyable and also helpful for you just to understand a little bit more about the brand, what I'm, what resellers are looking for, what are kind of my goals every month. But yeah, hopefully those are helpful and something that you can look for every month. And see you in the next video. Have a good night. Have a good day. Bye.